Hey there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon on the PlayStation. Oh my god, the, for Insomnia LPs. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I can't wait to start. Well, I'm already starting. <laughs> so, in the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh! It's been peaceful here in the Five Worlds, or is it six, for a Dragon's Age? We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Looks like well, I've got some things to do. You got that right, Spyro. You got that right. Anyway. Oh gosh, this game is like, it, this is basically my childhood right here, rescuing Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Because he is a dragon, and thus he cannot tell us much. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a more a route that I haven't taken in years, <laughs> not jumping over that edge. So, as you can see, we, we are collecting some gems right here. Uh, these really don't serve that much of an importance other than 100%. In other games, they do act as currency as well as the 100%, but you know, not today. Anyway, to jump, just press X. That's standard PlayStation jumping mechanics. And, uh, circle is to use your flame breath, and then square is to charge, like so. And that's, that's really about it. There's one other trick that you can do, and you can glide by jumping and then hitting X in mid-flight. So, you know, that that is going to be used a lot throughout the game, but if you didn't know that already, well, I, I honestly feel... Terribly sorry for you. Anyway, um, there are some gems over here. I'll get that dragon eventually. Not right now. I am going to complete the home world and all that. Um, I'm not going into any level like Town Square right now. Um, I really don't need to right now. Unfortunately, I have to jump on these buildings. No! Unfortunately, I have to jump on these buildings. So, that's going to be a little time-consuming, but oh well. So, oh, I got this. <laughs> yes. Now let's free this dragon. Thomas. Yay. Hey, Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Okay, well, uh, after that, I think it's time we rescue some more dragons and taking out these guys. These are Norks, they are the basic enemies of the game. These are the most, these are the easiest enemies to take out because they don't do any damage to you. So, yeah. Let's get them. <laughs> Sorry about that. But do you remember how the uh, first dragon we saved, Nestor, told us about the balloonist? Well, that's this guy. We have to rescue ten dragons before he will take us to the next home world. So, whatever. <coughs> 69. Oh, I lost that number. Don't worry, we'll be seeing that number a lot throughout the game. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, here we go. More gems. 
It's a jam in itself because this game is amazing. I'm a terrible singer, but I don't care. Okay, so we got 90. Ah, oh, oh, I know where the other ten are. But first, Delbin, or as I like to call him, Nibble. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. Okay. Well. After that, there's only a couple more things that we can do in the home world. Um, we've pretty much seen all the levels. Almost. Almost. So, let's just get all of the gems really quick. There we go. 100 out of 100. And we're about to save the final dragon of this place. Argus! Cool, Flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Spyro, just for you. Yeah, you don't get to repeat that sentence. Anyway, so we can't go in there quite yet. I want to go to a couple of places, but due to the lack of time that I have and want for this first episode, I'm going to show you a little trick. Yay! It's glowing! It's moving! It's Sunny Flight! I'm going to fly! Yay! Swing! Anyway. Let's do this. So, this is another type of level in the game. The flight levels. As you can probably guess, you fly the whole time. Nothing really to it. You just gotta get the sets of eight for four different objects. And then, you know, within a certain amount of time. And then, you get your gems. It's as simple as that. Um... Now, you get your gems based on how many you defeat, like, not necessarily, like, um, how many of these you defeat, but, like, how many total groups. So, basically, if you only get one group, then you only get about 80 gems. If you get two, you get 160. If you get all of them in one run, then you get, you know, basically your 400. Uh, for the level. Yes, all of the, uh, what are they called? Flight levels have 400 gems exactly. No dragons. Unlike the, um, Future Spiral games, uh, they actually had, uh, like, say, little objectives that you had throughout the game, and then you would get one of those here. But that is not the case in this level. So our last... Uh, thing we have to get it are the arches, which really shouldn't be that bad. They're just the most annoying just because they're so spaced out. So that's why I like going through that path I did before, uh, just because it makes me feel like I have enough time to get the arches and not feel like, uh, like I don't have any more time. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. We did it. And we had... We finished with 21.3 seconds. That's, that's very good. Very good. Okay. So that, that, oh, it's only 300. I must be thinking of a future Spyro game. Anyway, um, that, that was my time. Whoop de doo. Um, you know what? I could do another level right now. I mean, the video is only about 10 minutes long right now, and I. To be honest, I kind of want this LP to be short, considering it's on a collaboration channel. So, I think I will go into Dark Hollow, one of the more peaceful levels of the game. Um, but, it's pretty swag-filled, if you ask me. So, as you can see, it is dark. Yeah. Oh, I missed. So, these guys have, like, a stick and a shield. No! 
Okay, so this, this is a big guy. You need to use fire against him because uh, charging him will just feel like a tickle. Hi there, Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Why, thank you. I didn't explain that either, did I? I don't know. I'm talking too much. Anyway, so this level is pretty short, but uh, there are there is a bit of backtracking. If you saw that safe up there, we need to find a key, and that key is near here. Oh god, can I get him? No! Ah. You're cool. Gotcha. Music! Okay, one thing I have to say right now, the music in this game is by far one of my favorite soundtracks in all of gaming. I mean, you know, I grew up playing this game. I grew up listening to this music. And, I mean, even in the future Spyro... Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Like, even in the future Sparrow games, the music did not degrade in quality. Like, I will admit, my least favorite track from the original... I mean, my least favorite game towards, towards music would have to be Spyro 2. I mean, to be honest, I don't have that many memorable tracks in that game. I mean, Metropolis, obviously, uh, Colossus, but to be honest, those are the only ones I can remember, like a beat, you know, off the top of my head, so, you know, is there, the second game is just not memorable for me. Like, not in terms of gameplay, no. Uh, I've actually done LPs of both this game and the second game on my own channel, Pinstripe Paragon, um, but, uh... Like, by far, there's just so much to do in Spyro 2 compared to this game that, you know, makes makes it feel superior. But, at the same time, it was my least favorite as a kid because, I mean, Spyro 2 was, it was my least favorite as a kid because there was just some missions in it that I just couldn't do at the time, and it would take, you know, a ton of tries for me to get. But when I did the LP, you know, I, I did it rather quickly, so... You know, gameplay-wise, you know, second the second one is probably one of the best. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like all three of them equally, like all of all of the original trilogy, which is how I feel about the Crash Bandicoot games. Well, oh god, I still have to uh, get that save. Um, but you know. I've actually ranted about this in another video um, with one of my friends, but uh, it always seems the third game is the best in the series. Like, at least for the games that we played. I mean, you know, that, that was what we thought about Spyro, that's what we thought about Crash, and, you know, I mean, all the other entries were good, it's just every se sequential Entry was just a step up. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Alright. We're already done with Dark Hollow. Dang. I'm going through this game fast. Um. Let's see. I have 15 minutes. I think I'll keep it at this length. Because. Uh, Town Square is pretty short. Um, this level right here, Stone Hill, is probably the longest level in this whole home world. So, I'll save that for last. So, thank you guys for watching this first part of Spiral the Dragon on Insomnia LPs. Be sure to check out my main channel, Pinstripe Paragon. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye